Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast. You know, what advice would you give to the 95% of people out there that don't have a net worth of a million or more that are obviously wanting to have a net worth of a million or more? That's why they're listening to this show. They're listening to you know, us individuals that are millionaires or have a million dollars worth of net worth, of course, or higher. And they're taking away lots of lots of useful things. But, you know, what would you say you to them direct to them, you know, to to start doing to start implementing to stop doing you know, what would be your advice to those individuals? Mm -hmm. So they too can mm -hmm. become one in 17 like you and I. You know, I did the math on this. If you want to make a million dollars in a year, it's $500 an hour. Is that right? 500 bucks an hour, $2,000 right. is a, mi a million bucks a year. Yeah, it sounds about right. But I, I don't think that you make a million in a year and then you're a millionaire. I think that it is it is a slow and steady process of, of solid decisions. And, and we live in a microwave generation where people want everything in 30 seconds. Yes. And, and rare do people see that uh, unless you were born into money or unless you were handed a bit of an opportunity or a leg up, most of us, the 17 of the 18 you're referring to, David, they have to make constant incremental steps over time. This race is not going to be magically won with a, uh, with a magic pill. That's going to have you hit big. You're not going to find the next doge coin and time it out. Well, you're not going to find the next game stop and call it a big win. It is instead an incremental accumulation of slow and steady choices over time. And so if you say, I want to be a millionaire in five years, well, you got to literally do the math, not just wish it, not just put it out into existence. What's your current net worth? How much are you currently making? How many hours do you have to work? And, and I, will, I will say this in summation is when you know your net worth, or excuse me, when you know your dollar per hour, let's say you, uh, you make $50 an hour, you are at $100,000 a year job. Well, you can hire a house cleaner for 30 bucks an hour. And you take that extra three hours a week that you're cleaning your house and you put that time into more work you're going to be $60 ahead every week because you're going to make 150, you're going to pay 90 and you're $60 ahead when you choose to leverage that out. Uh, one of my favorite guys is Alex Hormozzi. If you aren't following him on social media, his stuff is so good. Alex Hormozzi talks about how you should never even cook a meal anymore because the time it takes for you to go to the grocery store to prep the food to then eat the food is a couple of hours for a meal. And if you know your worth, if it's $50 an hour, all of a sudden that's $100 for that meal. When realistically you could, and then the, the cost of food also, when realistically you could have gone to a restaurant, picked up something that's literally a healthier, better choice, cost you 30 bucks, and now you're $70 ahead again. So when you can start thinking and having an actual plan instead of just a hope and a, a, a dream, if you can have an actual plan, you're going to see your wealth start accumulating pretty quickly. Man, I love that answer too. You got to <laughs> have a plan, guys. You got to have a plan. You know, one of my favorite sayings and quotes is a goal without a plan is a dream. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's a lot of people out there that are dreamers and they just don't realize it. And all you got to do is you got to have a plan and then you have to act out the plan. But if you don't have a plan, all the goals you have are dreams, guys. They are not, they are not goals. You gotta have that. So, Eric, 